Hi everyone and welcome to the Canadian Redneck Channel. My name is Dave and today we're going to be fixing the brakes on a 444 International Tractor. They're a notoriously poor brake system. They're a double disc uh, dry brake system and uh, the biggest problem is the discs. They're really hard just like granite and they polish up just about the same. Uh, really hard material so the fix for that is we have new discs they're a softer material, more like a clutch face. Uh, it solves the problem of not having brakes. The uh, biggest problem with these is, is they grab really bad. Uh, but it's better to have you know, brakes that grab than no brakes at all. So uh, this is the best solution that I've come up with so far. We'll uh, get things started here, get the camera moved around so you can see what's going on. And uh, we'll, we'll work through the process. So the first thing we do is uh, loosen the brake adjuster. That'll be found underneath the footboard on either side. The brake shaft goes across. There's a pin here with a threaded rod up through the uh, linkage on the brake housing. And so we'll take that nut off and uh, free up the brake adjuster on this side. With the brake adjuster removed, we can now take off the brake housing and that is found on either side of the differential case right behind the footboards. Okay, we got the bolts out now and the adjuster uh, out of the linkage and we'll pull the brake housing off. And you really want to watch your fingers because these are a great rig to jam you. So now we take the actuator assembly out of the housing. There's a pin right here, holds it in. Another counter pin. And this will set aside to clean up in a few minutes. So now we remove the springs from the actuator assembly. First thing is to inspect these balls. And these ones actually look in pretty good shape. Sometimes they'll be quite rusty or pitted. And uh, if that's the case, you want to put new ones in. But these ones here look pretty good. You need to clean up these little ball sockets where the balls run. Oh, that's not very good. <coughs> We got some rust pitting in there, so uh, you can use sandpaper or wire brush or something like that. I've got a little siphon type sandblasting gun, and that's what I'll use for these. With the ball sockets cleaned up on the brake discs, we'll now clean the braking surface. <laughs> Most of these cleaned up pretty good on the wire wheel. One of them had some pitting, so I tossed that away. We've got some replacement ones. So you put those back in the sockets and you don't use any grease on these because that'll just collect dust and jam up the works and you'll be taking it apart again in a couple of weeks time to get all the dirt out of the sockets so the balls will move. So then we'll clean up our springs. All 
our springs on now. We slip the uh, other half over around on top and then we put the springs back in place here. So now we'll clean up the brake surface and the brake housing. <laughs> On these brake surfaces, again, like uh, sandpaper, wire brush. Uh, this here is like a surfacing disc on a die grinder. Uh, all that stuff works fine. It's something that's a fairly mild abrasive. You don't want uh, to use like a, a angle grinder or something like that because that would uh, remove too much material. Then we place our brake disc inside. And this rubber dust seal goes on uh, over the legs of the activator, actuator. And everything slides down into the housing. And make sure the seal goes in on the on the lips for it here to go on. I've cleaned up this pin on a wire brush also, and we'll give it a, a light film of Never Cease to uh, keep it lubricated, keep it from rusting up. So this uh, housing assembly is ready to go back on the tractor now, but uh, we will uh, prepare the shaft on the tractor for the brake assembly. So our brake shaft here has a little bit of a buildup of rust and dirt, so we'll just take clean that off with a wire brush. Before we put the new brake disc on, we'll give a just a very light coat of Never Seize to the shaft here, so that uh, they uh, don't rust and seize the brake disc on. Slip our brake disc on now. And now we can put our brake housing back in place. Before you put the brake housing all the way in place, you have to put the uh, back bolt in because it is blocked by the park brake lever, lever otherwise. So we get that bolt in place and then we'll lift the brake housing all the way in. And you can get it started on the shaft. That last bit can be a bit of a pain because you got to uh, line up the uh, splines on the brake disc with the splines on the on the shaft. There. Finally. So we've cleaned up the bolts on a wire wheel and I'm going to give them a, a coat of uh, Never Seize because uh, they're in a spot that's pretty prone to rusting and I mean they can rust in, seize, break off and uh, all of which is a real pain in the ass to deal with and uh, so I like to give those kind of things a coat of never seize or oil or grease or something like that keep that from happening if I can
with everything else in place it's now time to tighten up the brake adjuster it's this 3-8 fine threaded eye bolt here hooks to the brake pedal down here to the brake uh, linkage up here so we're getting our pedals pretty close here now just a little bit further to go to get that uh, lined up and uh, like I said you want them pretty even so that you get even braking pressure on each pedal uh, for each to each wheel uh, you know for when you're traveling on the road uh, even in the field you don't want to be hitting one brake more than the other because uh, if you get any kind of load behind you can turn the tractor crossways so when you get them up so they're sitting about even then put pressure on the both there see that they're uh, try to put equal pressure and see that they stay pretty much even looks like this outside one still travels down just a little bit more yep good now we lock the lock nut on the adjuster and then we can put our brake springs on. That was a process to repair the brakes on a 444 International or any of the other B-Series Internationals. Uh, also a similar style of disc brakes to your late letter series and uh, 100 series farmalls and a number of others. And we now have a tractor with stopping power. Uh, hope you enjoyed, found it useful. And so always, like, share, subscribe. Have a great day.